Hello everyone. Myself, Mr. F. R. Sayed. I work as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. The topic for my today's lecture is handling of skew. Now, at the end of this session, the students will be able to number one distinguish between the different types of skews and number two apply suitable techniques for handling these skew now let us first try to understand what is a skew now sometimes the distribution of the tuples onto multiple disks may be uneven or skewed meaning some disks may have less number of tuples some may have more now this situation exactly happens when we are going to partition our database generally in the form of horizontal partitioning and accordingly distribute the tuples onto multiple machines now there are different types of skews as well the first one is the attribute value skew the second one is the partition skew I will see these types of skews in one by one. Attribute value skew, the sum values may have appeared in the partitioning attributes of many tuples. This means that the same value is going to appear in multiple tuples, especially in the column which is designated as the partitioning attribute. And all those tuples that have the same value for the partitioning attribute are then accordingly placed in the same partition, meaning that all such tuples will now be mapped or moved to the same disk after partitioning. Now such situation can occur with the range partitioning and hash partitioning. The reason being that when that partitioning technique is applied on the partitioning attribute, depending upon which type of partitioning technique we are using, either it could be range partitioning or hash partitioning, the values may map to the same site next one is partition skew now with the range partitioning technique a badly chosen partition vector may assign too many few tuples to partitions and sometimes very less tuples to the other partitions meaning the distribution of tuples to the partitions is uneven now to explain this part, we say that some partitions may be having many tuples, other partitions may be having very less tuples. So when we try to compare the number of tuples assigned to a particular partition or to one of the few partitions, the number of tuples assigned would be uneven. So that type of skewing would be called as partition skew. Now this kind of skew, it is less likely to occur with the hash partitioning technique, but the reason is if a good hash partitioning function is selected. So a good hash function will help avoid this kind of skew. Now how are we going to handle skew in range partitioning? Now assume that the partitioning attribute forms a key of the relation. It may be one of the key. So for creating a balanced partitioning vector, we need to follow the following steps. The first one is, first of all, we are expected to sort the entire relation on the partitioning attribute field. Then next, we'll construct the partitioning vector by scanning the relation in the sorted order. So this will help us to design the partition vector. And that may be helpful for us to define the range in which we are going to allot tuples to different partitions. Now then the next step would be after reading every 1 by nth of the relation meaning 1 by nth part of the relation the value of the partitioning attribute of the next tuple is then added to the vector. Now this is just our attempt to uniformly distribute tuples to the 
multiple partitions with the help of the partition vector so care has been taken that the partition vector is designed in such a way that after every one by nth part of the relation whatever value appears in the partitioning attribute field that value would be put in the partitioning vector now here n actually denotes the number of partitions that are to be constructed or to be honest how many partitions you want or how many sites you are going to map the tuples to and one important thing is duplicate entries or imbalances can also occur due to duplicates existing in the partitioning attributes now this may generally happen when under the partitioning attribute field you have multiple values occurring for different tuples or to be honest the same value appearing for multiple attributes or multiple tuples now we'll see how can we handle skew using histograms now let us assume that there is uniform distribution within each range of histogram a balanced partitioning vector can then be formed in a straight manner from the histogram histogram can then be constructed by performing the scanning of the entire relation or by sampling the blocks containing tuples of the entire relation now why do exactly we require histograms is because histograms provide us with the frequencies of different intervals or range values of tuples so this may help us to identify the skew so when we see different intervals we may come to know what is the frequency of different intervals different ranges and accordingly we can then come to a conclusion that okay yes this range or this interval may be having a skew since the number of values or the number of tuples being mapped to that range or interval is not uniform with the remaining ones so that actually will help us to identify the skews now the students are expected to think and write the answer to the following simple question what are the different types of skew so now you can pause the video and write the answer to the following question okay now the answer to the question being asked previously was the two different types of skews are attribute value skew and partition skew how are you going to handle skew using virtual processor partitioning now we have a concept called as virtual processor partitioning let us see what it is with the help of virtual processor partitioning the skew in range partitioning can be handled now how a large number of partitions around 10 to 15 times the number of processors are created and then virtual processors are assigned to the individual partitions using some strategy so what are we trying to do is virtual processors being created and accordingly these are assigned to the different partitions for performing our work so hence skew can be avoided or can be handled the basic idea is if any normal partition is skewed it is possible that the skew is actually spread over a number of virtual partitions so due to which the skewed virtual partitions may get spread across a number of processors so this may actually result in the work getting distributed evenly so this may help us to solve the problem of skew so these are the references for the video lecture the database system concepts book of 6th edition by sudarshan and the website of www.db-book.com thank you